This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com, bringing you all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices with no membership fees. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Nike CTR360 Trek Artista 3 in the black, white, photo blue, and pink flash colorway. If you guys could take a second to leave a quick like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Just gonna get this box out of the way. And this is one of those colorways that I personally really like. I've heard some mixed reviews on this one. Some people love it, some people hate it. And if you are looking at this shoe and you're a big fan of the colorway right now, just know that it is not subtle in person. A lot of people might be tricked because it does have black and white on the basically the first half of the shoe. And then it transitions to this photo blue in the back half, which is a lot brighter in person than I thought it would be. But what's really bright in person is this pink flash colorway at the heel. It's kind of like the pink equivalent of Volt. Volt is that really bright yellow color that Nike uses on some of their shoes, but in pink form. And like I said, it's extremely bright, almost looks as if it would glow in the dark. And like I said, if you're trying to stay low profile because you have a pair of black shoes, you're not gonna get it from this particular colorway. And then of course the sole plate is just plain old black and white. Um, as far as the Trek Artista 3 goes, it's one of very few takedown models that I personally would recommend to people to purchase for themselves, simply because you're actually getting a pretty good shoe for the price that you pay. If you do want more details on the performance of the Trek Artista 3, I do have a full review already posted up on my website, SoccerReviewsForYou.com, which you can find linked down below in the description, and that's where you're going to get all the details as to how these shoes fit, feel, and perform. Part of what makes this shoe so great, in my opinion, is the use of Kangalite on the upper itself. Kangalite is a premium synthetic from Nike, the same synthetic that you're going to find on the Top End Maestri. And while the makeup of this version of Kangalite is not exactly the same as what you're going to find on the Top End model, it still is very high quality. Kangalite is designed to mimic the feel of natural leather in that it has that nice, soft, natural padding to it. That is something that you could only previously get from a natural leather soccer shoe, but because it's a, it's a synthetic, it's gonna provide that nice, soft leather touch with the benefits of a synthetic, and that's it's slightly lighter in its construction, it's not going to overstretch, it's not going to absorb as much water, and it's gonna dry a lot quicker for that reason as well. Again, if you've ever wanted to try a synthetic shoe, you've always been wearing leather shoes for your entire life, and you've wanted to try something synthetic, Kangalite is definitely one of those shoes, or one of those synthetics that you should give a try because you're probably going to like it. As far as other elements on the upper go, you do have this little bit of dimpling here on the outside. That is there more for looks than anything. I personally don't find it to change the performance of the shoe at all. And then of course you do have this passing element on the instep with these kind of rubber bars there. The rubber bars themselves are pretty non-abrasive. They're fairly thin and don't really add any extra grip on the ball. Just provide a more solid impact or a solid surface area when striking and receiving the ball, whether you're passing or controlling it. Again, doesn't really change the feel of the shoe all that much. And I feel like it could have gone without having these elements on the instep. Um, obviously this does not feature ACC. None of the takedown models from Nike do feature ACC. Whereas the top end Maestri will feature all conditions control on the upper itself. It's basically like a wet control element, but again, it's not included on Trek Artista 3, so it's nothing to worry about. You do have the off-centered lacing system with the laces being pushed to the instep, as opposed to being centrally traditionally, uh, more traditionally anyways, or kind of being pushed to the outside, which you see a lot more of nowadays. Um, it's pushed to the instep, which kind of worries a lot of people as far as it affecting their strike on the ball because the laces are technically going to be in the way and that's something that it's kind of like a big myth the laces are not going to affect your ability to strike the ball and if anything I actually like having the laces on the instep simply because it allows for a really solid fit and actually makes for a very comfortable fit because it moves the laces away from any pressure points on your foot you do have a synthetic leather liner on the inside as well then if I pull out the insole you can see it does have that mesh lining on the top with a pretty good thickness of EVA foam there. One of the nicer insoles that I personally like to use, I pull this one out pretty frequently and put it in other shoes when I want something nice and comfortable. And one nice thing about the Trek Artista 3, you guys can see that little white thing on the inside. It's actually an extra layer of EVA foam just to provide some extra padding in the heel of the shoe. If we move on to the sole plate itself, it's a pretty thin plastic, a lot more low profile than most firm ground. Um, plastic sole plates that you're going to find and for that reason you sit really close to the ground which is definitely a good thing something that I like about it it also makes for a very flexible feeling soccer shoe and if you look at the stud pattern itself it's kind of like a reworked version of what you're going to find on the Tiempo um, in that instead of having all conical studs it's kind of the same layout 
just the studs are slightly different shaped. It's kind of like a combination of bladed studs and half moon shaped studs. You're gonna have rounded edge studs on the outside of the shoe, all the way in the heel as well as in the forefoot, and then bladed studs on the outside. And it's going on the basis that um, a round edge stud is going to provide a little bit better release from the ground and allow for some nice maneuverability once your foot is planted. And then these outside bladed studs are just going to provide that outright grip, which is what you want when you're pushing off. So you kind of get the best of both worlds in this stud pattern. It honestly feels a lot more like a conical stud pattern as opposed to a bladed one. And because the studs have very small surface areas, they penetrate the ground pretty easily. Again, this is a firm ground stud pattern designed for firm natural grass playing surfaces. And if you are gonna be playing on artificial grass or turf, whatever you wanna call it, I strongly recommend going for the AG version because that is available in the Trek Artisa 3 as well as the Top and Maitri. So go ahead and check that out. But that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes. And move on to a quick on feet section so you can get an idea of the fit on these guys. All right, here's a look at the Trek Artisa 3's on feet. And one thing that makes the CTR360 line unique from all the other lines of shoes from Nike is that the CTR360s run half a size small. So where I would normally wear a 9 in pretty much every other line of Nike shoes, in the CTR360 line, whether it be the Libretto, the Trek Artista, or the Maestri, I need to wear a size 9.5. So that's what I'm wearing right now, a size 9.5 US, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I strongly recommend going up half a size if you are comparing it to the sizing on any of the other Nike shoes or even most of the Adidas models. Um, as far as the fit of these shoes go, they're very, very comfortable. It has a very similar shape to what you're gonna find in the Legend 4. And again, for that reason, they're extremely comfortable to wear. The soft synthetic gives off a feel of a natural leather soccer shoe. And again, they just have a soft feel on your foot. It's slightly wider through the midfoot, although it's not overly wide. It's going to suit most foot types. Just keep in mind that because it is a synthetic material, it will have some stretch to it, but not very much at all. It has a slightly wider area, or slightly narrower section in the forefoot. And then the toe box itself is a little bit narrower than I think most people would like. But I think it adds to the overall fit of the shoe and just creates a nice tight contained fit on the foot. So for that reason, I think that this is a very good fitting shoe. And if you wanted to compare it to the fit to the, of the Maestri, um, they fit very, very similar. There's very little difference between the two. Um, so like I said, even though it is a takedown model, it fits like a high-end soccer shoe. So that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion of this video goes, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for my unboxing plus on-feet video of the Nike CTR360 Trek Artista in the black, white, photo blue and flash pink colorway. Like I said, if you do want to check out the full written review for this guy, it can be found linked down below in the description. On that same review page, you're going to find the high quality images of this exact pair that'll give you a better idea as to how it actually does look in person, as well as buy it now links with the best prices online, including some exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Um, if you do have any questions regarding this particular shoe, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated as well. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear, including more unboxings, some reviews, some comparisons, even some free kicks. So like I said, if any of that interests you, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Other than that, guys, I do have an Instagram now. So if you want to follow me on that, my Instagram account is Josh. You go ahead and look me up. Or again, the link will be provided down below in the description. And other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.